We live drums. Hi, Gary Frantz back. And uh, this video is all about the sticks and implements that we use for playing snare drum. As you can see, I have a huge collection of sticks here uh, next to my drum. And um, these are what we use to, to change our sound on the drum and the different kinds of music that we might play. So first of all, I have a stick which is called a general stick, and I have a couple different models that I use. I'm, I really like these, uh, these innovative percussion sticks, uh, and these ones are from a friend of mine, Lalo Davila. They have a lovely feel about them. You'll notice that the bead, if we can get a close-up on that bead, it's a nice big bead. And, and you know, when we think about how, how drums work, the point where the stick actually comes in contact with the head or the skin has a great deal to do with the tone that we'll get. Now when we, when we in, our, in our further videos when I talk about tone production and strokes and things like that, we will look at the different, uh, the different sticks and why I use different things. But for right now we're looking at the different styles. Now the sticks, they really have different parts of the stick. We have the shank of the stick like this, we have the bow of the stick down in here, and we have the tip. And, uh, and I'm playing traditional grip, and we'll talk about traditional grip and match grip later on. But these particular ones, general, general sticks for general playing, have a lovely weight, lovely distribution, and just a, a sort of a rounded beaded tip. Very good for rudimental playing with snares off. Feel nice, good balance. I have some, uh, these are Vic Firth Generals, and these are very old ones. In fact, I think Vic uh, burnt his name on the back. They're burnt in there, but these ones feel great. This is, again, a general. You might notice that on these ones here, if you can get in really close, you notice that I've actually worn down the tip a little bit. They've worn down for many, many years. I think I've had these for over 30 years. Right? I have some handmade ones. These are made by a wonderful maker, William Reamer. These are the Allen Abel signature model. And of course, they all feel a little bit different in my hand. I, I'd have to say that when I go to play, if I'm playing in a concert or if I'm playing match grip, you notice that standing up like this, I, I might play match grip. And we'll talk about our grips later on, but these ones feel really beautiful for concert playing. Right? I have some sticks made out of ebony. These are very heavy sticks. These are German sticks, and I think the name on these are Rohima uh, concert sticks. These feel beautiful. They're, they're ebony, they're heavy, and they get, they, they have a very small tip on there. It's a rounded bead. But again, very, very articulate and um, for, for, you know, fine work. Right, uh, really lovely. I think uh, there are some sticks, I love this, I've played that piece Bolero many times, and these ones are Vic Firth and they're called the Bolero sticks because they have a very fine tip and they're special, special for playing something like Bolero. Really have a lovely feel, lovely tip. Really, really special. I think we've even got some specialty sticks which I wanted to share with you. These ones are quite unique. If you look at the tip there, these ones are called Echoes and they have a super fine shank like that and they're really light. Let's compare that light one to the heavy stick. Really quite a pronounced sound difference, you know, really different. And I think uh, really important to have this wide variety of things at your choice. These are some uh, typical drum set sticks. These are the Ed Sof ES2s. And you notice that for drum sets, they're thinner. They're gonna be a little bit lighter, easier for me to move around.
and great for drum set. Uh, love these. Also in my collection, some specialty sticks. These are lovely sticks by the Promark Company. A friend of mine, Matt Savage, made these. And these are sort of like practice sticks. They have a little practice pad rubber tip on the top. But I also think they sound pretty good, pretty neat on the drums as well. A little darker sound. Yeah. So uh, anything from, you, you see I've got a wide collection here. These are big old German sticks. I think they could be used for a table or a drum, but you know, if the conductor says louder, you know, I might pull these out when, when you know, he says, can you have anything louder? These babies will come out. Okay. Now we're, we can talk about brushes a little bit. Brushes. Of course, made popular by jazz, by jazz drummers. And uh, the original brushes were, were just wire, just wire strands. And you can see them on the drum there, they're just wire. And they allow us to get a beautiful, smooth. Lovely emulation of the surf, beautiful for ballad playing. This video is not about brush playing, it's really about the different sounds. We can have the same kind of brush but with a nylon. These are innovative BR1s. Really lovely, beautiful feel. In contrast, this is a uh, Vic Firth brush. These are fiberglass. Here it's a little bit coarser sound. We have some even bigger sort of uh, nylon. These could be sound great on cymbals. Very articulate. And then, of course, we have a wide variety of things called multi rods. You have wooden ones. These ones are nylon. Great for country music, train beat. and a wide variety of multiple percussion applications. As we continue through this video course, you're gonna see a huge collection of mallets, beaters, uh, all kinds of implements for playing. But today's lesson was specifically about the snare drum sticks, and I hope you find that informative. Thank you. We live drums.